Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, amen. Start with the Shema, listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love. To Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Proverbs chapter 7. My son, keep my words. Store up my commands within you. Obey my commands and live. Guard my teachings like the pupil of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. Call understanding your kinswoman, so that you can keep you, so that they can keep you from unknown women, from loose women with their seductive talk. For I was at the window of my house, glancing out through the lattice, when I saw a man, when I saw among the young men there, among those who don't think for themselves. A young fellow, devoid of all sense. He crossed the street near her corner and continues on toward her house. Dusk turns into evening, and finally night, dark, and black. Then a woman approaches him, dressed as a prostitute, Willie of heart. She's the coarse, impulsive type whose feet don't stay at home. Rather, she stalks the streets and squares, lurking at every street corner. She grabs him, gives him a kiss. In brazen face, she says to him, I had to offer peace sacrifices. I fulfilled my vows today. This is why I came out to meet you, to look for you. Now I found you. I've spread quilts on my couch made of colored Egyptian linen. I've perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come on, let's make love till morning. We'll enjoy making love. My husband isn't at home. He's gone a long trip. He took a bag of money with him and won't be back till the moon is full. With all her sweet talk, she convinces him, enticing him with her seductive words. At once he follows her like an ox on its way to be slaughtered, like a fool to be punished in the stocks, or like a bird rushing into a trap, not knowing its life is at stake, till an arrow pierces its liver. So now, children, listen to me. Pay attention to what I am saying. Don't let your heart turn to her ways. Don't stray onto her paths. For many are those she has struck down dead, numerous those she has killed. Her house is the way to Shoal. It leads down to the halls of death. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Proverbs 7? We can trust that we are children of Jehovah, and He is a loving Father giving us practical instructions for living in a lost and sinful, lost and sinful land. Aim to keep the words of Jehovah. Aim to store up the commands of Jehovah. Aim to obey the commands of Jehovah, and life will be given to you. Aim to guard the commands of Jehovah. Bring his commands to life by making and wearing jewelry as a visual reminder. Meditate frequently on his commands and make them the desire of your heart. Personify wisdom as your sister and your kinswoman, that you call out to her and are close to her for the purpose of keeping you away from an unknown woman, from a loose woman that can be seductive with her talk. Trust that this story is applicable today as it was back then. Learn to think critically and surround yourself with people of character. Aim to get common sense. Learn to avoid sinful places and do not go near them. Stay in safe places at night. Aim to flee sexual immorality by running from those who look and act the part. 
run from a married woman or man. Aim to follow God's word and not man's deceptive word. Aim to pay careful attention. Aim not to turn to the evil one's ways. Aim to stay on the straight, level, lit path of righteousness that leads to long life. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can teach men and women about the straight and narrow path that leads to life, to think biblically. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. And how can we bear one another's burdens? We can learn to share your story with others of what not to do in these situations so they can learn from your, pure, from your poor choices. And with the Arianic blessing, Jehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Jehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Jehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen. <laughs>